Hi there, Dojo Nation. Hey, today's the first uh, installment of Tuesday Pro Tips. Um, in my travels, I've uh, <clears throat> an experience. I've got some little tips and tricks that I think can help you uh, either learn some things maybe you don't know or possibly remind you of some stuff that you've forgotten. I know that happens to me all the time. So let's take a situation where we're going to use a comparable here. We go out to dinner and we're going to have a steak dinner. We pay $20 for the steak. The steak comes to the table. It's a, it's a decent enough steak. You eat the steak. You get your bill. You pay your $20. And it's okay. It was an okay deal. That's how most of the meals go. What kind of customer does that make me for that restaurant, for that steakhouse? It's what we call... Uh, I'm even using props here. I'm going the extra part for you guys. I, I, we don't have a big budget, but I'm, I'm doing the best I can. If I have a $20 steak, I feel it's worth a $20, the $20 I paid. I'm what we call an apathetic. I'm an apathetic customer. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not good. No big deal. Let's say I go in and I pay $20 for that steak. And it comes out, and the waitress is rude. She doesn't acknowledge how well my mustache is working now. This thing is coming in nice. The steak is all gristle. It's cold. I send it back. It's still terrible. How do I feel then? I've just spent $20 on a terrible $2 steak. What does that make me? Going back to our... Our... Uh, esteemed system of, uh, what do you call it, uh, help around the office here to get this going. If I have a really bad experience and I feel that I paid for something and not got my service, then I become an assassin. And back in the day, what did assassins do? They told all their friends, the restaurant sucks. I paid 20 bucks. The thing was all gristle. The waitress was terrible. That's how he did it. How do we do it now? right on this laptop or phone that you're watching this from. And I can't talk to my five friends or family members. I can talk to thousands of people. It's, it's a game changer what people are able to do. So the only thing worse than an apathetic customer is a assassin. So let's take that same situation and we go in and we have a $20 steak and we take a bite of it, and our eyes roll back in our head. We're drooling. The, the heavens open up, and music's playing. It's absolutely the best steak I've ever had in my life. The waitress compliments me on my mustache, not to mention the hat. It couldn't be a more positive experience. I would have paid $100 for that steak and that experience. Now what kind of customer am I? I'm an advocate. Right? I'm an advocate for that bit. What am I going to do when I go into the office on Monday? Man, you should have seen the steak I had. Oh, and the service. It was tremendous. So we have three A's. Apathetic, assassin, and advocate. Here's where this comes to play in the martial arts business. Every single time a student comes to your school, they're either going to be in the apathetic the assassin, or the advocate, every single time. Almost invariably, most of our students are on that apathetic line. They're still there, but they're not ranting and raving. We've got to push the service and the systems every time, every day, every class towards advocate. Now, we're in this absolute challenging time with the, with the uh, coronavirus which I really don't understand. It, it, it's a Chinese disease named after a Mexican beer. No wonder we're so, so confused over this thing. But what are we doing for our students? I just stopped by a competitor's school, and they, they taped a piece of paper up on the window, and they taped it in the middle so it's even hanging. You know, it just looks crappy. And it says, we're closed till things get better. That's it. On our schools, we have a beautiful sign. 
we're closed. Here's where you go for our online training. It's it's the hot program, home online training. We're doing all this for you. We're killing ourselves. Everybody's working as hard as they can to provide great service. We're teaching live classes. We're doing private lessons. We're doing everything we can. We're trying to push them towards advocate. What do you think? The other guy just slapped a sign up. Some of them didn't even slap up a sign. Bang, over the side. So in this day and age, and in this challenging time, this gives us a chance to try to move that dial towards advocate. That they say, man, you should see how those people stepped up during that time. You should see how hard they work. Make them excited. Make them connected to your business. Remember, it's not about the kicking and punching. It's about sharing your unique culture. There's a lot of YouTube videos of people kicking and punching. But there's not a lot of YouTubes by you explaining and supporting your culture. That's what we need to do. And once they get over there, once they're into advocate, that's where we want them. And that's how schools grow. So, gang, I know it's been tough times, but I'm here to tell you, um, I talk to everybody in the country day in and day out. We're all excited about this. I think it's going to be a good thing in the long run. You need to be running online, some kind of online introductory program. Um, I think done right, we can have dozens and dozens and dozens of people waiting to come to our school as soon as we open back up again. If somebody would have said, look, you have to close your school for six weeks, but here's what we'll do for you. We're going to make all the kids and parents stay home alone just so you can market to them online. Would you do it? I'd do it in a New York minute. So we have this unique opportunity here to put our best foot forward for the community, for our present students, drive towards that advocate side of the fence, and keep rocking and rolling. Because I'm here to tell you, as soon as we open these doors back up, we can have some of the best months we've had in decades. Good luck. See you uh, next week with Tuesday's Pro Tips. Randy Reed over and out.